Hey loves, so welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I welcome you specially. Today, I want to show you the easiest way of making a very foamy liquid soap. You know, if we can make some things ourselves, do things ourselves, like a do it yourself, we'll save costs, then we know what is going inside most of the things we are using. This liquid soap, like this, is very foamy. You can do it and use it at home. You can start a small business with it. Like I said, I will be bringing you some business ideas. I'm just making five liters to demonstrate. You can increase it. If you are making a bigger quantity, that means you have to increase your ingredients. I'll tell you the exact ingredients you are needing. Then you can, when you start a business, you can do a kind of souvenir. You can tell people you make souvenirs, do something like this, use color blue or any other color. So I'll use um, color blue for this so that you'll see how I made this exact one. So my ingredients, I have texapon. This texapon is 250 grams. This is SLS. Sodium laurel sulfate. It is 150 grams. They are both surfactants and cleaning agents. Once you have these two, you have had made your liquid soap. I tell you. And then when you are not adding this salt, the normal cooking salt we use in the kitchen, this is 350 grams. It thickens your soap and makes it makes the ingredients to be more effective. They react well together to give you a very effective liquid soap. And here, I have two liters of water, lukewarm water. That's a normal room temperature water. And this one is hot water. I'm, going to, I'm using hot water so that I can dissolve my texapon and salt easily. It is going to make this soap to be ready on time. But I'll start first with dissolving my SLS because it takes time to dissolve. Likewise, um, takes up on, but because of the hot water that we are using to hasten it up. But let's add the SLS to the water first to dissolve it. Uh, let me reduce this water. So after stirring it very well, I'll, I'll add it back. I don't want to use more than the five required quantity of water and you are going to have a very effective soap you save cost making this you can start a business with it like i said so this sls let me show you how it looks when you're buying it it looks like rice grain they even use this as part of what they use in making shampoo conditioner and the rest it's very safe so you add it to your water and stir it stir it like that. When you are adding it, you turn your face aside because it has this stinging um, fume. Not, it's not bad, but it's just you will feel it, you, you know. But once it dissolves in water and you have mixed it with other chemicals, there's nothing that's going to happen. So we just set this aside to keep dissolving. Then in this hot water, it's not boiling water, hot water. Let me see if you can see this very well. I want you to see as I'm using a transparent bucket, okay? This hot water here, I'm going to cut open my text up on. It is like jelly. Can you see? Look at the way it looks. So I'll add everything to the water and I'll start stirring. This is the easiest method. <coughs> Excuse me. You can use for making effective liquid soap. And you are going to start stirring it. Excuse me. <coughs> 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 mm. 
We'll start stirring it. And it will dissolve gradually. I'll be adding the salt a little at a time. This is normal cooking salt. It's not industrial salt or anything, just your normal table salt. Add a little quantity and keep stirring. You have to stir it very well because the text up on the stick is jelly-like. If you don't stir it, it will not dissolve and you need it to dissolve very well. Already, if you can see, you are seeing this foam. And I told you Texapon is a foamy agent and it is a cleaning agent. But SLS is a more foamier agent and it cleans very well. So they react well together. When you now add cooking salt or more, you are having a very effective product. I'm stirring this. I made this thing too full. I want I want it to dissolve on time. But let me just leave it. We'll still add it because this water, this hot water will still help, help it to dissolve. So, like I said, you keep stirring, add more salt, and stir. When you are making this, you want to use a container that would allow you to have room to stir. This is like eight liters bucket, and I'm doing five liters liquid soap. You can see that my bucket is good enough to contain the what I'm doing. So I'll keep stirring it. You don't need to exert too much power. Just stir it gently. And you'll have a very effective liquid soap. If you like, I add color. Like I said, this is the one, what we are trying to do. You can see my name, Hambi's Multipurpose Liquid Soap. This one is a souvenir sort of, and you can put the person's picture if they want, if you are trying to make souvenir or something. But first, you need to know how to do it. Make sure you do it. You can give people to test it out. And if you don't want to sell or do souvenir, you can just be using it in the house. Make your liquid soap. So buying liquid soap. All the ingredients you can use, you go to the where they sell ingredients, chemical shop, for soap and all that. You list it out, you buy, you make it yourself. They're not using any harsh chemical. You can see I'm not putting on gloves. Hmm? So they are so safe. Even these ones, they use them in shampoo, conditioner, hand wash, and the rest. You can even use this soap for hand wash. Just need to add some ingredients, maybe uh, like glycerin, vitamin E, and you can use um, some um, essential oils if you want, you understand. So. I'll add the rest of my salt and keep stirring. Right now, this is already very foamy. Can you see? By the time I add SLS, you will see what we will have. Then, after stirring it completely, I'm going to cover it to rest for a while before adding the rest of the ingredients. But because I want you to see how it is, everything that I'm supposed to put, I'll put it, then I'll cover it up. So that when you do your own, you know how to do it. Understand? So in like a, an hour or two, this will be ready. But the other methods, you need to cover it like overnight or something. But this one is very effective. I don't know how, I hope you are seeing this. I hope I'm not covering this. Are you seeing it? Okay. So, I'll keep stirring this to make sure my text up. If you can see up here in this transparent pocket, the text up is not yet well dissolved. And you want to make sure you dissolve it properly. So, I'll still keep stirring it. This is not something you rush. And it's not something that is too much exacting, as in you're not exacting too much uh, 
strength or you are doing something strenuous. It is something that you just do like. I'm just trying to, you know, at your own pace. Just stay it gently. No stress. And you have your soap ready in minutes. I want to... I want to stay this uh, SLS to make sure it's dissolved. When you are doing your own, it's just for the sake of this demonstration that I did not dissolve my SLS ahead of time. Because I want you to see how it looks. But when you want to produce your own at home, make sure you dissolve your SLS first so that all this, can you see all these particles, SLS particles? They will dissolve totally. As it will be like water. When you now leave it for a long time, it will like thicken up. Just stir it, leave it for a while. Then when you're ready to use it, just pour it with your the rest of your ingredients. But for the sake of this, for you to see it, this tutorial, that's why I did not dissolve it ahead of time. So by the time I stir everything together, they will all dissolve. So I'll still just keep it aside. Then this water. I'll add it to the bucket and stir for like two minutes, then add everything together. If we can make things ourselves, we'll cut down costs. Honestly, it's not like uh, even if you have so much money, the joy of making your things, things you use yourself, like when you cook, you do things on your own and all that, that satisfaction of actually seeing the result of what you have been able to make is so satisfying, you know? That satisfaction is there. And then you know what goes into what you are using. I'll still show you some how to make some things, how to make air freshener. There's this gel air freshener that you can make. I'll show you how to make it. Um, soap, bathing soap, as a um, bar soap, medicated, and any other thing. I said it in the comment section. If you tell me what you would like to learn, I'll do it. And um, people don't make comments on my videos, and it doesn't help me. It doesn't help my channel. Please. You need to please leave comments and give me thumbs up. It goes a long way. And please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, channel, please subscribe to my channel. It goes a long way. This is a very passionate thing for me. And when you do all those things, interact on my videos, it lets YouTube know that I'm doing something good, something important, so they, they can recommend my videos. Like I said, I've been over four years on YouTube and I've not been able to monetize. I'm not doing this for doing sake. I'm doing it because I enjoy doing it. And at the same time, it's business. I want to make money on it. I've invested so much. I've broken like two tripods. Uh, the thing goes spoiled. Right now, this phone that I'm filming with is my Samsung camera. I mean, my Samsung phone. The screen is gone as in... It's completely gone. I don't know how, what happened. There's this ink. When I have my, my laptop, there's something I'm doing on it. I'll stream online with laptop. I'll show you the screen of this camera. So if you recommend my videos, I mean, you thumbs up my video, you share my video, you comment, you subscribe. YouTube will recommend my videos to others so that I can also monitor. I don't have much watch hours. I'm still trying to build it up. I'm trying to build up my watch hours. And when you are doing something, if you are not seeing the desired results, you get kind of, you know, it's not good. You might get discouraged and all that. So please, the bottom line is, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you feel in this video, as in, in the comment section. And if you have any recommendation, something you want me to do, something that you want to recommend, you want to suggest, drop it in the comment section, okay? So, look at what we have now. Can you see the consistency? So I'm going to add the SLS solution. 
That's the SLS mixed with water. I'll add it. Let me stir it. Oh, it's almost dissolved completely, but it still has some particles. Everything is going to dissolve while stirring this. So gradually add it. So can you see the reason I said you need a big container? Five liters of liquid soap, but because of the foam, it's almost full. So we now keep stirring to make sure everything is well combined. I'm going to use color blue, like I said, so that you will see how I achieved this. I see this beautiful so if you want something like this, I'll use color blue. I, I can use green as well. It doesn't mean I have to use, but I just want you to see how I achieved this. So stay for like five more minutes. It's important to stay your production. Stay it. Stay it very well. So as you see, I'll set it aside a little. Um, I'll continue with it. Okay, I have, let me rinse out my container. Look at, look at the cup. Can you see how foamy it is? <laughs> oh my God. This soap, eh? Hmm. Just be, go easy on the water. You don't want it to be watery. But don't waste your products. Some of the SLS is at the bottom of this cup. That's why I'm rinsing it out. Okay, like I said, I don't want this video to be too long. So let me just dissolve my color ahead so that I'll just put it once I've finished stirring the whole thing. And uh, if fragrance, if you like, you can put fragrance, but you know it's good to have it. Your soap smelling nice. I'll just add a bit of fragrance. That much water. Then this is powdered color. I don't want it to be too too much. If I need more, I can add, but if it is too thick, I wouldn't like that. So this is the color. Can you see? I don't even know if you are seeing this. Where am where is it? <laughs> so this is the color. I'll just set it aside here. Then I'll get the fragrance i'll put it by my side here i'm taking this time to rest from stirring this so i'll come back to it. let me just get the fragrance With us. So this is my fragrance. I'm using banana and lemon fragrance. It's almost finished, but this is enough. This is enough for what I'm using. I mean, for what I'm making for five liters, this is enough. Banana and lemon. So I'll keep staring. If you check my channel, I have several videos on how to make soap. Even the preservation method you can use. For these five liters, you will even finish it before you say you want to start preserving. You know, so soap is self-preserving. All these ingredients, we have salt, SLS, and text happen, and it's just five liters. But if you want to sell, you are sending it out to sell to people. You don't know how long they are going to keep it, where the condition they will keep it. You need to preserve anything you are giving out yeah you want people to you are selling you understand so check my channel channel sorry for 
how to preserve your soap. I explained it in detail. How to preserve your soap to last for long. You see the video on my channel. It's very, very self-explanatory. So at this stage, our soap is ready. It is going to be transparent, but because we are still making it, hmm? that's why it's like this. So I'm going to be adding the color, color blue to it. As I'm adding it, I'm staring. You won't see the beauty of it until it settles down. So you will know if you need to add more, but it's better for you to go easy on the color. If it's too deep, you won't like it. It's not good to add too much. Because some people like it deep, but I don't like adding too much color to my soap. And I'm going to take, there's this thing. When you want to add fragrance to your soap, don't add it directly. You will scoop a little of your soap and add the fragrance to it. Because if you add it directly, it will make your soap to become watery. But once you mix it with a little soap, a little quantity of soap, mix it very well before adding the whole thing back to your soap, it is going to be okay. So I'll add the whole fragrance. What I have here is enough for these five liters of soap I'm making. And I'm going to stir it. Look at that. It has turned watery. Can you see that? So I'm going to add it to the whole production. I'm not going to waste it. Just scrape everything. And mix everything well together until it is well combined. You see, it's going to be, I don't think it will be as deep as this one. This one is not too deep, but it will, it will be lighter the way I'm looking at it, but it's okay. Let me share leave it because I don't want the color to be too deep, like I said. So at this stage, our soap is ready. I'm going to cover it up to settle for about one hour or two hours. Then you can start using it. But if you're not in a hurry, you can cover it up overnight. By the time you open it, it will be so transparent that you are going to love it. Okay, we can test it. Let me test it for you to see how effective it is. Just this one that stains my hand. I'll just get water. So that you can see how effective this is. With a little one on my hand. Can you see? There's my hand. <laughs> I, I'm not seeing the camera. Okay. <laughs> As always, my hand. So you can see how foamy it is. So if you want to start using it for hand wash, I like want to use it for your hand, you want to, you know, to wash plates, you can use it as it is. But you can still add glycerin or vitamin E. And so maybe essential oils. If not, as it is, hmm, and it smells so divine, so nice. Honestly, as it is, your soap is ready. I hope you enjoy watching this as much as I enjoy making it. I'll look for the cover and cover this up. And then when I am done, you will see the result. Already, you are seeing this one. It is going to look like this. I hope you found value watching this video.
Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Turn on notifications so that you get to know whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye. I love you all.